So guys, this is it. This is the plastic barrier that we have made. As you can see here, there will be no, um, no air. <laughs> Today, we're going to do something different. Different from all the videos inside our channel. Currently, we are facing the pandemic called COVID-19. And there are so many people affected by it. Especially the drivers. And in my case, my dad. Because my dad is a Grab driver. And I know he's going to have a hard time in his job. So, we plan to do this project. We're going to build a barrier, a plastic barrier inside the car in order to protect the drivers as well as the passengers. So, we create this because we believe that this is going to help many people around the world. So, this is my car. This is my dad's car. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's hop in. So guys, this is how it looks like inside my dad's car. As you can see, there is nothing that is protecting him from the passengers. So our plan is to make a barrier, right? So how are we going to do it? We're just simply going to put the barrier from here to here isolating this side to this side seems simple right actually this is in accordance to our local government's mandate and also I think and we think that this is also applicable to you wherever you are right now because we are all facing the same pandemic called the COVID-19 okay so without further ado let's start so the first thing that we're going to do is to measure the interior of the car. Make sure to have the precise measurements in order to have also the precise good output, okay? The second thing that we need to do is to put the measurements that we have gathered from the car to the pipes. Make sure to put some markings in order for you not to get lost. The next thing to do is to cut the pipes using the saw. Make sure to follow all your markings. After cutting all the pipes, Connect all of them using the T-bows and the elbows in order for you to create your frame. Double check if the frame that you have created fits perfectly inside your car. If it's not, make sure to do some additional adjustments. Apply some glue inside the T-bows and the elbows in order for it to be more stable.
this one is just optional we just put some paint into the pipes in order to make it more presentable again this is just optional For the final step, put the plastic cover in the frame. Make sure to measure it first and also to cut it properly. The way we do this might be different from the others, but this is how we do it. You have your own way to put the plastic cover. Again, we have different ways to put the plastic covers. So guys, this is it. The finished project. Our plastic barrier. As you can see, there are excess plastic covers here in the top and in the side parts of the barrier in order to seal the air that is coming from this side to the other side. Also, you don't need to worry about the ventilation in this side because there are air conditions here and also if the passenger wants to give some tips to the driver she or he can freely put it inside of here just slide it inside and it's done to be resourceful all the excess plastic covers from the project we have turned into this because in our government's mandate, only this side is the only place allowed for the passengers to sit. And also, social distancing must also be maintained. So we have made this. We're going to put this in here. As you can see, we have put an X mark here. And it does not mean that the person or the passenger must sit here. No, 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 no. It just simply means this is the prohibited side and this will be the mark of the distance between the person who will be sitting here and in here. Okay? Again, if you like the video, please do not forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell in order for you to be notified in the future every time we post a video. Again, thank you for watching. God bless you.